to Domain Racer. This is exclusive video series about Node.js installation. So let me tell you all the factors. Okay. So in this video series, we are going to cover entire security part, Node.js installation, Magento installation, lot of things that helps you to start your Node.js based server. So this video is exclusively based for node.js installation magento installation securities firewall there are a lot of things okay so we are going to build this video on vps and for that we are using the os ubuntu i will not go into the node.js introduction and all directly come to the point in this video we are going to cover first installation of node.js second firewall configurations so this will cover a lot of things here we are going to allow some ports and remaining we are going to block why this is so because most of time we have seen that the server got compromised due to some ports are open onto the server and attackers attacks on the server so to avoid that we are going to install one more application this will helps to avoid multiple login failures so this is the most important one apart from this we are going to create a master user and to avoid root level of attacks so most of time we have seen that maximum cases the ssh got hacked because we are put as a root as a main user so in this case we are going to switch to the another and avoid the direct root login to the server now the points comes is a magento installation and its configuration in short we are going to cover almost all possible combinations to make your server for your node.js project so let's begin with the ubuntu installation okay so for this demonstration we are using a vps from dedicatedcore.com and so here it is our dedicatedcore.com account and in this i'm using this server vps l4 click on it once we purchased our vps so very first is to install ubuntu just scroll down click here install os the best part is installation of os is only on a click just scroll down and select the os so in this case i am using a latest ubuntu version and here you can able to tick mark and click on continue this is so easy scroll down and here you can able to click on installation result again scroll down you can able to see here that the installation has already been started so we have to wait for next 5 to 10 minutes after 5 to 10 minutes i will going to resume this video and we will start the next process of installation of node js now our ubuntu os has been installed successfully you just scroll down and you can able to see here all the login details we need just this two details okay just copy it and paste into your notepad now time comes to start the node.js installation before that we need to access our server with the help of putty to download a putty you can able to go to the google and type putty download from here you can able to download your putty application so in this case i already have downloaded it so i'm just going and opening it okay here it is our putty now we are using this putty application to access our server so i will use this ip address enter here and the port number is 22 click on open now it will ask you for the login root and the password is already been showing here just copy it and paste into your console and hit enter here you can able to see that we had successfully logged into our server now the installation process we are going to start before starting the installation we need to install our two applications first one is curl and second one python to install this we just need to enter sudo and this command and hit enter you can find these commands into the description of this video okay the so next installation is python you can use this command to install a python so here we can able to see that installation of python as well as c url has been completed now time comes to the node.js installation 
So for that, we just have to go to the node.js.org and here you can able to see the latest version available is 13.9.0 or 12.16.1. You can choose any one of it because it is going to be our latest one and it has been recommended for the user. So in this case, we are going with a 12. So command is very simple. So this is a command. So in this case, you just have to replace your version number here. So in this case, uh, just replace this six by 12 because here it is showing a 12 dot X means it will automatically detect the next version and start installation of Node.js. So hit enter. Great. We have successfully downloaded our Node.js setup. Now times for Node.js installation. Here it is the command given. Paste it and hit enter. So Node.js installation has been started and once complete, we will verify it. And here choose yes. Our Node.js has been installed successfully. The next part is verify it. Enter Node.js-V. It will show the latest version that we had installed onto our machine. Next npm version so this clears that we had successfully installed our node.js now the next part we will do a small testing now we will try to run a simple program hello node for that first run a node so node has been started and enter console dot log in bracket enter hello node you can able to see that hello node has been printed successfully to exit from this we just have to enter dot exit so we had successfully exited from this okay so this example is actually showing the console level programming but if you would like to run officially on your browser node.js application then you need to open certain ports and you need to write certain programs so for the demonstration purpose i am going to install a firewall first then we will do a small level of configurations and then later i will show you the exactly how you can able to run your node.js and show the data onto your web browser Okay, so I, I do have already a documentation about installation of firewall. UFW is the best firewall for Ubuntu as well as OS. So here it is a documentation. Very first step is to check whether we have installed UFW firewall or not. Just copy and paste this command. You can able to see that here the result is showing the blank. This means our OS is not already been configured with UFW firewall. Now we will start the installation process. So installation for this just copy and paste this command. One minute. Just copy this command and paste into console and enter. The firewall installation has been started and almost completed. Now we will check the status. So here we can able to see the status. Currently firewall is not active. Before activating the firewall, please make sure that enable certain ports because if you will enable the firewall so definitely it will block entire ports available onto the server so just scroll down read this documentation very carefully to enable this we can use this command to disable this we can use this command and so on you can just go and read the very first is to allow ssh connection because if we are not allowing ssh connection then 22 port will get blocked and if it is getting blocked then you cannot able to access your server so very first step is to allow ssh port so in this case i am allowing ssh port just enter this command and you can able to see that rules updated so first line is showing ipv4 rules updated and second line is showing ipv6 updated so to check the status you can use this command and here enter it and click on enter here the server is already in the inactive mode so before activating the server one more port we have to open the port number is 3000 
so to allow this port you can use the same command just enter here 3000 port why we wanted to open the 3000 port because node.js might need a certain ports to run the application so in this case we are using a 3000 port to run a node.js application so I hit enter again here we can able to see that the firewall rules has been updated so now we will go up and start the firewall so to start the firewall we can use this command and hit enter here enter yes and click enter we can able to see firewall is activated and enable for the system startup this clears that our firewall has been installed and we had allowed two ports first one is 22 and second one 3000 this clears we had securized our server for all another ports so in this case you can also enable the certain ports like http because most of time we have seen that we have to enable certain pre default ports like 80 443 22 so these are the some commonly used ports we can able to enable this so here it is one so we had enabled 80 port now we can enable the 443 port so here we had added the successfully now we will check the status of the server you can able to see here okay so from here you can able to directly check we had enabled up till now four ports okay four ports for ipv4 and four ports for ipv6 so this is what we had did it here one thing we have to remember that is what if you are updating any firewall rules while it is in the active mode then you have to reload it because without reload it cannot apply onto the, your server so in this case we will use this command reload so this will reload your firewall means it will restart your firewall here we have to check that whether our 3022 port has been opened or not for that we can able to use certain sites so like here it is a one side so from here we can able to check whether our port has been opened successfully or not so in this case we are using this server so here i am using this ip address and enter here and the port number is 22 click on check you can able to see that the port is open now i will check for the port number 3000 click on check so it has been in the closed status this might be because we have not yet run the node.js okay now time comes for the sample of node.js to run onto your web browser for that we just need to go to the our console click here cd space dot dot cd space home so i am in the home directory and for the demonstration purpose i am creating a file called as app.js okay so here we have to enter certain code so that for demonstration purpose the code is already given on their official website just click on about page and here it is a code so i will just go and copy this code and paste into our editor so here it is the code the thing we are using here a vps okay so if we are using a vps definitely we have to change the ip address here so in this case we are using the ip address this one i just go and copy it and replace this paste here now i am going to save this file okay so we had successfully created app.js file now it is very simple just enter node space app.js and hit enter now you can able to clearly see that server running at the ip address and port number so this is clearly means our server has been started let me try whether the port number is opened or not you can able to see here the port is open 3000 means the first thing our firewall is working properly second thing we have configured firewall properly for the security purpose and third thing our application node.js is running absolutely fine now we will check whether our application is running properly or not just copy this url and paste into your web browser and hit enter and you can able to see that hello world is printed so this is clearly mean our node.js installation has been perfectly completed
Wow, it's a great job. We have finally completed our Node.js installation, firewall configuration, and still there are a lot of things has to be covered. So watch the next video to understand the securities, other factors and all. We are also covering Magento installation and its configuration, IP level security to avoid Magento hack. Because we have seen that most of time the server got hacked because of security reasons. To avoid these problems and all, watch the next videos, enjoy the programming and keep your server secured.